In the 17th and 18th centuries, ocean navigation was extremely dangerous. Sailors knew how to calculate latitude, how far north or south they were, using the sun or stars. But longitude, how far east or west, was much harder to determine. Without an accurate method, many ships got lost or crashed into hidden reefs and shores. To calculate longitude, one needed to know the exact time at a reference point, like Greenwich, and compare it to local time measured by the sun. One hour of time difference equals about 15 degrees of longitude. To do this, a highly accurate clock was needed, one that could function properly at sea despite violent ship movement, changes in temperature and humidity, salt, corrosion and vibration. John Harrison, the man who defied the impossible. In 1714, the British Parliament offered a £20,000 prize, a huge sum at the time, to anyone who could solve the longitude problem. John Harrison, a self-taught English carpenter and clockmaker, not a formal scientist, but incredibly inventive and precise dedicated his life to building ultra-accurate clocks that could work aboard ships. His masterpiece is H1, H2, H3, H4, H1, 1735. A large and complex clock with horizontal balances worked reasonably well, but was too big and delicate. H2 and H3, 1740, 1750 improved models, but still sensitive to temperature changes. H4, 1759, a masterpiece. Looked like a large pocket watch, extremely accurate. Lost only a few seconds over weeks at sea. Used a spring balance and temperature resistant materials, the decisive test, voyage to Jamaica, 1761. The H4 was tested on a voyage from Portsmouth, England to Port Royal, Jamaica. After 81 days at sea, it had lost only five seconds. It was the first time in history longitude could be calculated accurately at sea. Despite his success, Harrison wasn't immediately awarded the prize. The Board of Longitude preferred astronomical methods. Only after years of petitioning and with the support of King George III, did Harrison finally receive part of the prize money in 1773 at the age of 80. The invention of the marine chronometer revolutionized maritime navigation, making sea travel safer and more reliable, allowed British and later other ships to explore, trade and conquer with greater precision, saved thousands of lives by preventing shipwrecks, was a key invention in the rise of global trade and exploration. The original H4 is on display at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, London. It's considered one of the most important scientific instruments in history. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and watch other curiosity videos. Thanks.